Welcome back here to the Twin Cities Film Fest red carpet. I'm your host Blythe Whaley and alongside me is Lance D. Collins and his film My Partner. Thanks so much for being here Lance. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I, I just would love for you to help us know a little bit more about this film before we get into it. Can you give us a brief synopsis so that everyone's caught up? Sure, so it's basically a story of two Lahaina Luna high school senior boys that basically from Lahaina uh, who are in rival friend groups who are forced to work on a school project together. So That could be challenging, you think about it. So I'm sure everyone just remembering instances where maybe they saw two different friend groups having to, to be together on a school project. Yeah, I know it seems pretty innocuous, but uh, yeah, it's in the boys love genre, which is a post-war Japan literary genre about two young men who uh, don't know that they would fall in love with each other, fall in love with each other, so that's sort of the twist. And then the other part is that one of the friends groups is uh, Filipino and the other one is Hawaiian, and they speak their languages and uh, express their cultures in the movie, so it's uh, kind of like a West Side Story, Romeo and Juliet kind of thing, but with the boys' love twist. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And what is something that, throughout this film, that challenged you to help create this actually get on the screen? So, yeah, actually, in many ways, uh, based on, I guess, my other experiences and the director's tremendous amount of experience, we actually seem to get catch a lot of breaks. And, um, you know, most of the actors are first-time actors, uh, but they, like, really worked well together. It was like a family, and uh, most of the crew is, like, really well-experienced, and just everybody gelled really well together. And... Um, yeah, just meeting the deadlines that the funders set for us, that was probably the one thing that was very challenging, but we made it. Deadlines are always hard, <laughs> but yes, that's awesome. I'm glad you made it. And when we think about filmmaking, what is something that draws you and compels you to this medium of film? So, yeah, um, for myself, uh, films were always very impactful, and I feel like... Um, the ability for people at the margins to be able to tell our stories um, is really a power, particularly now that uh, with you know, such great access to, to films, um, that is something that film really holds a, a special power. Yeah. And when you think about what's, what's coming ahead for you, is there anything else, whether that's a new film, whether that's this current film, that's exciting? Well, I have to tell you, uh, I've seen the movie so many times with uh, different audiences that I've actually discovered there's like a whole other psychological component to uh, participating in the watching of, of the story with a different audience every time. And so I'm like learning new things about myself personally from that. Um, but yeah, that's something about this process that uh, I was very unexpected and I hadn't considered. And what is something that you hope that people are taking out of watching this film? Is there something that you're hoping that people are going to gain? Well, um, there's a whole bunch of things. The, the movie really deals with a bunch of different issues that affect West Maui that people may not be familiar with and the normalization of the Hawaiian language uh, and basically showing the experience of working class Filipinos, like all of that stuff. So I hope when people, like, they come out of it and they're like, I had no idea this world existed and... I feel hopeful about my own life. No, that's, that's true, especially when you think about film and this medium and how awesome it is that you're able to share a story with so many people that weren't actually there to witness it. But what is something that, that you're most looking forward to? I know that your film has been in a lot of festivals. It sounds like you've been pretty busy. What is something that you're looking forward to maybe coming up? Well, uh, we did have to switch from Ilocano to Tagalog because of some of the social politics in Hawaii of the Ilocano language community. So I'm very excited that we're planning in January to shoot a web series, a BL web series in the Ilocano language in Ilocos uh, in the Philippines. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's sort of the unfinished business of this project is getting finished in the next. Yeah. And do you feel like it, some of these places are, I'm sure, just so beautiful to be a part of? the filming location because of course this film being shot in Hawaii what was that like were there any things that came out of being able to film there whether that's for fun but also for um, maybe just what you got to see yeah so you know some of so we have several scenes in quote-unquote the valley and um, you know it was a 
a very community-based filmmaking process. So we actually thought we were going to be filming in one valley, and we, through many community discussions, ended up in a completely different valley because of people's feelings and that sort of stuff. So on one end, that was very interesting, expected, not, not totally surprising. And then on the other, of course, is like nobody could have anticipated that Lahaina was going to burn down on August 8th and that all of this footage, aerial footage, and all of the footage in our movie, the background of our movie, basically no longer exists. So it's sad, but on the other hand, it basically is a time capsule of what everybody who's alive today remembers Lahaina being. Yeah. And we're glad that you captured it because like you said, video is awesome in that way that even something that isn't, any, isn't here and that we aren't able to see anymore, you're able to still watch that and get to feel what that felt like to be there. And something that I also want to ask you is when you're thinking about making another film and going into that process, what's something that keeps you going? Because sometimes filmmaking can be hard. And what, what makes you want to continue on and make more films? So, um, yeah, I would say the, the, now it's the reaction of the audiences. I, I'm just actually very surprised. Even every showing, I'm surprised that people are have a reaction to, to my story, a positive reaction, or have some emotional connection with my story. And it's like, yeah, I want to keep telling stories that like, like I keep want, wanting to keep do that until people aren't interested anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm so glad that you've had such positive reviews about your film, My Partner. Thank you so much for being here on the red carpet. It's been so awesome talking with you. Yeah, thank you for having me. You guys, this wraps up my time here on the red carpet today. I'll be back tomorrow, but more red carpet interviews will be happening. I'll be passing it off to my fellow red carpet host. But on behalf of Lance, I'm Blythe Whaley for the Twin Cities Film Fest. Thank you guys.